Welcome, Eagles, to Trad Cat Night, your one-stop website for all of the day's latest church apostasy and end-time news. This is your number one ranked traditional Catholic outlet specializing in the real third secret of Fatima. Trad Cat Night is featured all over the alternative media circuit and has the most listened to and most influential podcast radio show available within the Catholic world. Trad Cat Night's guest list is second to none. Search Trad Cat Night across any major social media outlet for daily information and visit tradcatnight.org, the fastest growing end times community available in the market. So what's it going to be, Eagles? Fear or faith? Flight or fright? Join me as we head deep into the darkest night. Welcome, my good friends, to another edition of Trad Cat Night breaking news right here on the Trad Cat Night YouTube channel, Trad Cat Night, your premier Catholic source for information in these times of apostasy. Top 15 Christian channel, according to Feedspot. And folks, today is January the 7th, 2019. Wanted to give a quick recap for a very busy day here at Trad Cat Night. And boy, are the memberships uh, increasing by the day, folks. It's always good to see new faces coming through the Trad Cat Night Apostolate. And this is what's so good about the situation is we know we have thoroughly stirred the hornet's nest with the devil to where now there's more recent new attacks of me personally by people claiming that they've known me since 2011 and Eric is using donations to frequent porn sites and he's mentally unstable living off of his mom's couch and woe is me and this or that folks this is how you know the devil is mad it only puts a smile on my face and only goes to show you it's trying people are trying to keep you away from this very vital information and all that we're doing here because we as eagles are going nowhere god is protecting us our lady is protecting us i am going nowhere the naysayers will keep running their mouth and they will fade away and so it's good to have those detractors and those flirting with hellfire speaking on things which have no basis this is how we start off for tonight's breaking news edition hope you are having a very blessed day folks i just finished up a great talk with max egon who was very gracious enough to take time out from over there in Australia. We talked Trump, theatrics, 5G, free energy. Uh, Max is just so deep into a lot of these areas. And again, I always like to pick the brains uh, of the pundits and analysts out there. So, of course, we delved into the whole PSYOP that is QAnon. We talked about the Trump phenomenon. We talked about a revolution forthcoming, 5G and its role in the New World Order. We talked specifically about France and the Yellow Vest protests and whether that's contrived or not. Uh, we talked free energy. We talked gun control. We even got into the area of a potential alien invasion, which you know I've been covering here at Tradcat Night. I'm the only Catholic website that's doing so. And I'm going to be working on an article, which will only be featured on Tradcat Night tomorrow, uh, trying to demonstrate how we may possibly be being set up with these directed energy weapons quote-unquote attacks that will probably soon be pitched by the mainstream that it's coming from outer space uh you and i both know it's advanced technology that uh various world governments have specifically russia but in any case i do believe we're being set up for a phony alien invasion here yeah, much like an Independence Day. Remember that Independence Day movie? And I, I can't even really recall the specifics of it, but I believe the, the White House was attacked by some type of directed energy weapon from above. I believe we're being set up here, folks. So this is something that you would know if you follow the Trad Cat Night Apostolate. Uh, in any case, as I mentioned, it was a very, very busy day because I also had on Catholic author uh, Anthony West, who joined me again, and we discussed the modernist hatred for truth. We discussed Francis, the conciliar church, and the new mass, and why you ought to avoid it. Uh, we talked uh, about how there is innocence no more, and the prophecies of Our Lady of Good Success, and what is forthcoming due to all of the filth that we are currently seeing uh, in the modern world. Uh, he brings up an interesting point, talking about the entrustment of the Immaculate Heart 
uh, as opposed to the consecration, the true consecration of Russia forthcoming. Wait to hear what Anthony has to say uh, concerning not only the difference, uh, but he makes one point that honestly over the years I, I've never truly thought of and I actually agreed with him. Uh, we talked, is there an awakening amongst the youth as it relates to coming back to tradition? We talked rise in the demonic. He also gave a specific story that he witnessed from the hands of Archbishop Lefebvre for you traditionalists out there. And uh, last but not least, uh, I had on Tim Kennedy, UFC fighter and friend of Trad Cat Knight. I uh, had a very uh, abbreviated talk. It was about 20 to 25 minutes or so, a little bit shorter. Uh, he was on the road currently. Uh, he's busy doing uh, this or that for Sheepdog Response. Uh, his website, he's actually going to be in Vegas, I believe, on the 14th. But in any case, we got an opportunity uh, to talk about what he's been up to. Uh, talking about uh, being a patriot and staying and fighting within the country. We talked self-defense. We talked guns for beginners. Uh, we talked these times of uncertainty. And obviously we find ourselves in a Cold War II situation with Russia basically camped out in Venezuela now. Uh, we talked the attack on the Second Amendment, all of the latest signs of the times, end lines. And uh, we talked about having a sense of humor uh, in these very drastic and tough times. Always good to get with uh, Tim. And uh, listen, folks, we have a very, very busy uh, January. And by the way, I had to postpone my talk with Leo Zagami. He's going to be on the program on the 11th. So take a listen to this lineup for the rest of the month. By way of the live call-in show, I got Deborah Tavares on the program uh, coming up on the 18th. Tomorrow's going to be the roundtable talk edition. I have on the 11th, Adam Green from No More News. I've got John Moore, for, uh, Liberty Man, uh, high-ranking uh, ex-military intelligence officer uh, with the Navy. We've got Father Voigt, Monsignor Perez, Father Kramer, still forthcoming. Uh, but then the Daily Podcast. We've got Dr. James Fetzer, Marshall Masters, Dr. Bill Warner, Dr. David Duke, Dr. Sherry Tenpenny, as I mentioned, Leo Zagami, Todd Sepulveda, who runs perhaps the largest prepping website called PrepperWebsite.com, Terrell Blackstar, Catholic journalist George Newmeyer. I've got Patrick Wood coming on still, V the Gorilla, uh, Mark Dankoff, Harley Schlanger, Wayne, Jeff, Paul Craig, Roberts, Mike King from Tomato Bubble, Gil Broussard, Xavier Arau, who's writing a new book on Marie Julie Jehenny, Catholic author. I've got Bill Terwilliger uh, from the Prepper Journal, Dane Wigington, Alex Newman, who covers uh, a wide variety of topics, but basically exposes the New World Order folks. And we're really not done yet. I'm still going to be doing some more scheduling for January. We're already working into February. I'm booked well in advance, typically about a month uh, in advance. Tradcat Night is trying to bring you the very best quality programming, folks. And as a paid subscriber, as a member of TradcatNight.org, you're getting 25 to 50 posts daily. Again, I cover all the latest church apostasy news, end time news. I truly leave no stone unturned it's highly interactive there's a message board chat room live stream there's live call-in shows as well my own articles and analysis are only seen there uh, my own writings and poems from the book that i've been working on fortress of the soul is also there there's numerous resource pages which truly you can spend uh, days and days on uh, as it relates to this uh, apostasy but both both also the end times but there's links to live masses from around the world, Holy Hour, and Divine Office. Uh, you can also write your own articles and commentaries for publication on Tradcat Night. Folks, the church is going underground. Join us, end time eagles. We're in it for the long haul. $10 a month, which only works out to be about 30 uh, cents a day, a little over 30 cents a day. And uh, to be quite honest with you, I've never had anyone come to me and say, you're not putting out enough information. If anything, it's uh, slow it down a little bit, Eric. So a lot going on here. And uh, I hope to see some new faces again. This, this past two weeks has been the, the greatest uh, increase, if you will, in terms of memberships overall. And uh, it's always good to hear from uh, some of you who are new to this apostolate, new to tradition. So check the description box right now of this YouTube video. So you're watching this YouTube video, scroll down a little bit and you'll see some words show more. Click that with your mouse, with your button. 
and it will open up as to how uh, you can get direct access to Tradcat Night. You'll see the direct links there. All you have to do is click it and Stripe, which is the payment processor, is faster, easier, and safer than PayPal itself. So no worries there. I've been using it for years and never had an issue. And again, I hope to see some new faces. You don't want to miss any of these talks that I had today. I had a trio of talks and uh, a lot of great information going out to you. I discussed uh, in my article today on Tradcat Night how fear worry doubt and despair take you nowhere it's wasted energy folks we know the storm is coming we know we're going to be given heavy crosses we have to utilize these crosses folks so that we can become transformed and become more and more of an image of christ folks i ask you all to continue to pray for my ministry when you see all these attacks out there eric's a pornographer and blah 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 he's going to porn sites I work with escorts, porn stars, and girls in the adult industry. As a matter of fact, these past few weeks, I've had several fruitful conversations with young ladies wanting to learn more. Again, you have to look to see what some of these haters are saying, and it has nothing to do on the theological level. It's all ad hominem attacks. There's no basis or substance to it whatsoever. And it's just their poor attempt to try to keep people away. And I've said this in years past, folks. It only drives more people to the website. So I appreciate all of the hate. I appreciate all of the, the naysayers. This helps to show us that we're on the right path. Jesus and Mary smile just as I do. And we continue to press on as eagles. Until next time, my good friends, stay safe. God bless. And hope to see some new faces tonight. Ave Maria.